So Tariq Ramadan, he says he's waiting for the Arab Spring to push him into, um, into ideas. I'm saying like, this guy, he doesn't have a clue here. Um, as I blog initially, and I see they're giving Russia credit with, uh, you know, saying that this thing in the fight, you know, and so on, and the, 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 the um, Benghazi American Embassy. But I've been saying this before, maybe Russia read my blog and, and talk after me, you know, give me some credit here, please. I'm begging you. So, when it started, I said this, this thing ain't going nowhere, these people don't want the democracy, they don't want the capitalism. Before I said that, this team we knew was going to come to America, to go to England, to go to all these people that are excited about, you know, the, the spring revolution, the so-called uh, democracy, capitalism, revolution. Now let me remind you again, no system is going to dominate the world. The whole world will not be Islam, the whole world will not be communist or socialist, the whole world will not speak English, and the whole world will not be democratic and capitalist. Now let me remind you further. Democracy and capitalism are two systems, uh, cultural systems, that came out of the Christian Reformation. Now, they want to tell me that democracy started way down in, in Rome and in Greece and all that kind of stuff. Maybe. But when the Christian Reformation happened, um, and uh, people started to be honest and start to be decent and start, you know, developing things and, 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 and centralizing and so on, people develop this thing we call democracy and it is based on Christian values so that I love my fellow human beings I will not be scampish, I won't vote two times I won't hate the guy who I don't vote for and, and, and when uh, this man wins, the guy who lost is going to be civil and is going to help him to actualize his plans and they will find another way so that he could be looked at to be the next uh, leader they will find some other way as opposed to obstructing and lying and saying things that are true about himself, what he has done, and what the other person has done, or the person himself. The capitalism also will be, here is this old lady, she give this neighbor who is a trader, hey, take his money and, 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 and put it to work for me, and say, you know what, this old lady, she can't really take me this of the bank. This young boy, you say, man, I'm bullish, I want to make some more money than the bank. So okay. You get a, a stock in which he would have bet his own bucks or put his own bucks. But not like that. I remember in Canada, this guy here, he retired and got $14 million dollars in lump sum. And he told his friend, he said, man, I want to invest this in somewhere. So his friend said, I know, a stock man, let me talk to him, okay? So the stock man said, hey, bring that money here and you get 10%, you get 25000 no problem. So he his friend, I know this man is going to fix that money up. So he gave him the check and took it over or he took him over. He get twenty five thousand like that. His friend got Gucci like that. You know what I mean? If I were his friend, I'd advise him to put that money in the bank. And then the, the man who he told, he's gonna get another ten percent. So and not of what remained twenty thousand. No, no. To, uh, you know, like what? Um, so I got twenty five thousand ten percent, and there'll be um, two twenty five. So the guy will get twenty two point five thousand. No, 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 he get an extra twenty five two. So fifty thousand comes to that money right away. And then they put a hundred two hundred thousand to work. So they send him statements with money things jumbled all over instead of letting them know that your money depreciated by a fifth. In just these days that you give it, your friend get ten percent, I get ten percent. You know, they tell him that. Um but in the, the, the Christian experience with um, capitalism your friend won't do that. Your friend would recommend put the money in the bank, or he's going to say that man is not giving me 10%. I don't want your money, bro. You're my friend, man. You, you trust me to let me do some exploration. Let us get some place where they're going to put that straight money to work. All right? You know, that, that's the type of democracy that, you know, the world is kind of it's diminishing, it's going away. Capitalism and democracy is declining because folks are moving more into Satanism. The world is becoming evil, therefore democracy and capitalism will also become less as it had been when they were most were Christians or godly. So that being there is Islam, and yes, they believe in one God and, and Jesus the Prophet and all that, and it's closer than the Jews, but the Jews don't even believe Jesus God. But still, they have their own way of doing things. So that 
for a Muslim to tell me, I like democracy, capitalism, and say, son, look, I love you, bro. But you can't handle that, bro. You know what I mean? You know, you try something else, man. You know? I mean, white people tell people in our Ireland, they're black today, why don't you get your own system? You know, this thing is our thing. You know, no, it's, 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 it's a reality, it's a truth. And anybody who has a similar experience, we in the West, blacks here in America, have the same religious kind of philosophy, beliefs, and so forth. Um, so that uh, they were just trying to create some chaos in the Middle East. That's all it was about. And as I said, Bush went into Afghan and Iran. Iran. So they need now somebody else to go into Syria and, 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 and Iran. That is the enemy, the Antichrist. Okay. Because they know that they lost in the Crusades, and anybody who's going there can also lose. See, and uh, America is, think of America collapsed. The whole world will collapse. Europe will collapse. Japan will collapse. When America go, the whole world is going. So that's the game. Um, and now you know this. Uh, they long time ago, NATO accepted Turkey into uh, NATO. So now they are having several ways of trying to get America. Because when you talk about NATO, you talk about and when you say America, you know, we got it, that the kind of technology you have. You could bust them tanks and you could, you know, take the pipe down to them. You know, we're going to just send in pipe troops and so forth. So America going to be in the right after that. Uh, and, and, and get the, the consequences. So, um, now that they allege that Syria shot up into Turkey, because I don't know if Syria did that. I mean, they have infiltrated situations. They could get the relatives to shoot up in Turkey. And I say, oh, look, the government shot up here. Or buy some soldier that was belonging to the government. I say, shoot some missiles over there, bro. And then I say, yeah, I shot the missiles because I hate them. Uh, and the like, commander tell me to shot it. And then they just spirit him out again, asylum someplace. But they, they really, really want the Middle East to burn up. So now with Turkey going down in, uh, in uh, Syria, we don't know how it's going to go. Maybe they're going to go straight up and overthrow the government. Maybe they're going to annex the country. People are saying that neither side want the war because it's going to be like, Iran and Iraq is going to come to a stalemate, plus it might end up in a regional conflict. That's more likely because what the Antichrist wants is the Middle East to burn. Okay? So they can't be destroyed, society destroyed, and they are into the chaos move mode. Now, they, 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 what they brought to, to North America and to Europe was they occupy, occupy New York, occupy Washington, occupy the Wall Street. It's the same thing. They just want something different to what is happening. And, um, while the Middle East purported to want democracy capitalism, these uh, you know, occupiers wanted to add another one, they maybe Islam. <laughs> they don't want it communism. They, they're saying that we don't like democracy, we don't like capitalism. They're blaming the government for the other And I mean, that was long to do by itself. But I mean, you know, the government doing, and, and you know what, these people up here in America, they get no kind of help education, help, welfare, help. This subsidy, that help, they, this, that, that. But yet, when things look bad, they come to blame the government. The government's the problem, this and that. It's everybody's the problem, you know? But, thank God, um, they occupied everywhere. they not, in other words, like how they encouraged the thing in the Middle East, nobody was encouraging it here. And, and, and it wasn't something that was viable. Because, I mean, um, those people up in the Middle East are not at work, so they can go and spend time with those people have jobs and they have other things they want to do. So, they can't spend all the time off to find a place. And then, of course, God is not ready to allow chaos to happen yet because God can plan on sea. So, it didn't work. And so, um, as I said, they're trying to get America into the Middle East. Because when we, when we go into Syria and Iraq, and Iran, you know, all hell can break loose. They have people placing the stock market and say, uh, on when you're going up the stock market, it's going to crash. Take your money out, yada, 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 yada. They have people. Um, who will, um, because you see, look what's happening here. With the Benghazi attack, suppose the America went into the Muslims and said, we got to deal with this here. And then they started attacking all the MCs in the Middle East. So, Lord, how are you going to get in there? It's going to be just like the Crusades time. You got to fight your way in. You got to fight the fight in the US, fight your way out. And, and, and the way the economy is in the world is hard to do. We can't sustain these long term uh, wars. I mean, the Middle East, in Afghan and Iraq. It will still be the next 100 years. Every generation hates it to the extent where they're willing to do suicide and roadside and go down right? yards. So, for this guy to think that um, this thing was so legitimate and there's another level for it to go to, which is going to be ideas on how we can make things work, it's not.
not about that. It's about chaos. And it's about destroying the Middle East. Do you understand, Mr. Tariz Ramadan? Okay, that's what it's about. Because the Bible says that in the last days, there's going to come in a time of trouble such as never was. There was never a time when the whole Middle East was on the verge or uh, so chaotic that it could collapse and, 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 and you know, the whole system from you know, a bunch of, you we know, always had a strong mind there to you know, know how to take care of business. People were staying away. But they're removing these strong men, Bush took away the Taliban up in Afghanistan and Saddam Hussein now, nobody there to control this place. And that's the enemy that we want. And so, uh, here is Obama, and um, he's weighing very carefully uh, the economy. That is his priority, you know. And um, there are people around that that's a power, and they might come into the office with a gun. And he's just saying, man, this is what I want him to go to that place, okay? Just write your tears and let us get the report and tell you something that's going Because when they were going into Iraq, to uh, Libya, I said that, you know, it don't make sense to go into there. But some smart guys were saying that, oh, he, yeah, he don't know his stuff more. And they knew that they have the kind of technology and strategy to make it work. That's not the issue. The issue is to hold it and let everybody respect and love you. Now, who knows what you look at the embassy? I don't know who they are. Because we decided laws, you never know who they are. They just blend in. They all join the same party. They're talking this and that. Maybe they're just looking up to people to get the chip or to, or to make the thing burn. See? So, um, there's the end of the spring revolution. is not about anything getting better. It's about things descending into chaos so that if you think that uh, you want to encourage the rebels in, 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 uh, in, in Syria, I think that they're going to bring home the bacon and everything will be good. We have a nice Christmas. No, it's going to it's going to descend into some significant. So if every country in the Middle East is talking about now in Lebanon, we need some changes here. Uh, uh, so that my boy, the American Queen, wife, you, uh, you know, he's going to go and secure Syria missiles and so on. The, the, the um, sort of chemical weapons. Uh, the whole Middle East and, and, and the UN now is saying that all oh, Syria shot up into uh, things. That's not responsible at all. They should say, listen. Um, okay, let us do this, man. They shot up here, you charge them so much money to the thing, and it's over. But like how they uh, approach it, like they're encouraging the Cherokee to go down there. And uh, I don't know yet what NATO's going to do. Uh, may maybe NATO will say, no, we're not getting into that. We just need new technology, you know. But when it's ended and finished, the enemy can still see that America was involved in that. Whether you go in or send technology, send aid or whatever. The men going to be in there. And, you know, I mean, God is still good and he's still holding back things. But if they attack every country, uh, people from certain countries in every place in the Middle East, and then, you know, you got to go after that, you can't sustain them. You don't have the manpower to go into it. Half the troops now are suffering from PTSD. Uh, and again, it's more PTSD than going in there again. The money is gone, spent over there, the economy collapsed. Man, this thing's going to be real ugly. So, I hope that, um, you know, somewhere, somehow, uh, folks understand that there isn't going to come anything out of the Spring Revolution, just a bunch of nothing. Thank you.